I'm sitting, hiding from the world like many are these last couple of days because uh, whether it's the solar flares and CMEs and geostorms or 5G or the political drama, something's off and people are feeling it. And I believe that from what I've gathered, what I've been seeing consistently over the last, I would say last couple of years, people are deciding which direction they want to go. And it's only two directions, believe it or not, uh, in my opinion, and from what I've seen. And I, I'm just sitting here watching the rain come down and the sun come out. So it's on the verge of a sun shower. And this thought, I mean, I can't call it anything but a download because it literally is just like beating <laughs> in my head. Uh, and it's based on, because it's no coincidence. So it's based on things that I've experienced myself, things I've been seeing and quote unquote random videos and uh, NDEs. And I mean, NDEs as far back as 19, I would say summer 1980, 1970, like just everything is lining up to tell me this, that there are higher beings. You can consider them aliens. You can consider them extraterrestrials, multidimensionals. You can consider them just energies that are closer to the source. But that higher advanced beings that manage this particular planet in this realm and oversee us are have been, I guess, I don't know what to say, debating. Let's just say there's been a debate as to what to do with humanity. Once they realize that we are slowly and sometimes quickly destroying the planet that gives us life. And uh, within these NDEs, there was one, another one that had visions of the future that was told by some of these beings that if uh, the earth is not going to be sacrificed for the, the well-being of mankind, if it ever gets to the point where it is earth versus humans, there's no question who they prefer and who they're going to protect first. And that um, humans will be annihilated. You know, they'll, they'll, some made it very clear that they would even um, melt the ice caps and cause a major flood and just pretty much anything necessary to remove the, the problem, the quote unquote problem, which is humanity. And um, it's something that, you know, when you really think about like who in your life is like extra environmentally caring and, one, and hopeful and trying to scream and, and screech about the, the environment, you have people when you see them doing these um, protests, everyone looks at them like they're loons. Like, what are you talking about? Like, go get a job, <laughs> you know? So it, it, it's, it's not been something that has been, you know, just mainstream. It's not something that people worry about, which is insane when you think about it, because this is all we have. We are not a space-fearing society. We don't just hop in a spaceship and go to the next planet and go on a little vacation. Earth is all we have, so it's just it just shows what mankind has has evolved into overall. That we are not worrying about the the thing that provides for us in general. Uh, so the then the thought came to my mind that perhaps what happened was some group or some being or some energy had a plan. And I've, I've heard that in NDEs where there was like God has a plan. And I think now that that plan is the new earth. This is why the, the Christians believe in, you know, uh, the rapture and why uh, I would just say spiritual, um, you know, sp people in the spiritual communities uh, believe in the new earth or the split between the earth and the, the new earth. That that is the out. That is the way of making sure that those who kind of got the idea, got or sticking to the plan can can be part of this galactic community that surrounds us, whether you know it's there or not. Those who are going to follow the rules of love, compassion, unity, and protection of the planet will have a place to go as opposed to being annihilated and thrown back into a reincarnation loop. 
And I, I really think that that's exactly what's happening. That that's why it seems that we're dividing into two. We are. They really are the people who are going to go into that earth that I don't think will last long. You know, that's the thing that I don't think people are mentioning. Maybe you can tell me if someone's saying this, but I think that that second earth is going to go through some trials and tribulations. And then it's going to, as mentioned in my first future NDE Future Visions video, from that end of the year, then that particular earth will be annihilated. It will it will collapse on itself and, and be destroyed with, you know, and anyone on there, as was mentioned by the being, the higher being or God, you know, anybody who's on there belongs on there. So, I mean, I don't know if, you know, no one knows the timeline of this, except for those who are potentially creating this whole plan. But it's, it's time to kind of wake up. It's time to wake up and and like like many indie ears say, because it's not a thing about fear. Ultimately, we all go right back to source. We all go back to where we came from. So on a very high grand scale, everything is perfectly okay. <laughs> there could be fire coming down from the sky and <laughs> aliens shooting, you know, beams of light and just know that everything is perfectly okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I stand by that, but you know, it's, it's time to, to choose and to wake up.